Welcome back to Parsnips and Parsimony today. I'm in my tomato patch here. I'm going to be pruning my tomatoes and tying them up so they will grow vertically. But I wanted to show you something you can do to extend your tomato harvest and it's not gonna cost you anything. Here I have a variety of tomatoes and you'll notice that the plants have little suckers on them. So what a sucker is, is here's the main stem of the tomato anything that grows in this notch here. So that's a little sucker here, but then I have a bigger sucker here. And if you go all the way down, this big plant here is actually a sucker. And then there's another one over here that's a sucker. There are a lot of theories to pruning your tomatoes. Should you prune your tomatoes? Should you let them sprawl all over the ground? And everybody has their own opinion on how they should do it. But if you are into pruning your suckers off, don't throw them away. You can just go ahead and pinch these off right here. I wanna find one that I wanna take off here. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this sucker off here. So the main stem's here. This is the leaf branch. And if it's too big, you can take scissors or you can just pinch it off, whatever is best for you. This one is still small enough that I can just break it off. And there I have a beautiful sucker that would turn into a beautiful tomato plant. I actually pruned some of my tomatoes a, a little over a week ago and I put these in some water in my greenhouse to show you guys how fast these root. So let's go take a look at those. About a week and a half ago I took the suckers that I had pruned off those other plants and just put them in a pot with water and look at this. These are covered in roots and can go straight in the ground and I have more tomato plants. If it's early enough in the season, this is a great way to extend your tomato crop. You're still going to get a ton of tomatoes, but by taking some of these suckers and rooting them and then replanting them, you're going to extend your harvest for even longer. So now I have four tomato plants that I can put someplace else and just let them grow and they will come in later after my first initial crop of tomatoes comes in. Keeping those suckers that you pruned off has is definitely one of those ways that you can expand your tomato harvest and it's a way you can do it without costing any more money. It's a frugal option to expanding your tomato beds. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you for our next video. Happy gardening!